My name is Charlotte Graham, and I'm a principal of a school in Sweden, in southern Sweden, near Hesleholm. And in Sweden, the coronavirus was very different from, uh, or treated very differently. We had very different measures taken from the government here than from that was the case in many other countries in the world. For example, in neighboring countries like Norway, they had lockdowns for months to try and stop the spread. But in Sweden, the government elected to keep it open and just tell people to wash their hands and keep the distance. So it was, it was voluntary, really. And um, there's a lot of space in Sweden. There aren't, it's a very big country and there aren't that many people. So it's easy to keep distance between people anyway. So I suppose in a way it worked, but more people did die in Sweden than they did in Norway, for example. And now we have the vaccines and most people here have been vaccinated three times. Um, so you could say that it worked to a certain extent, but because I think it has affected perhaps people's mental health less in Sweden because they we've been going on like normal. But yes, yeah, some people maybe did die unnecessarily. Um, and that's obviously very sad. And in schools, we've had, um, we haven't had any overall school closures at all. But for example, if there was a, a lot of spread in a certain class, we might have distance learning but that was usually maybe just for a few days. Uh, and then everyone was back to school. So it's very different from I know in other countries, for example, Norway or the UK or Denmark, even which is just a, an hour away from here. They had very different way of, of coping with uh, coronavirus. So my school here is um, the school for little children. So we have uh, they start here when they're age six and they leave uh, at about age 10. Uh, it's a middle-sized school, there's uh, a few hundred uh, pupils, and we had uh, the distance learning for a few days in uh, May last year when there was a lot of spread. Uh, of, but now, for example, last week I had, from December to January at this school alone, I had 125 um, positive tests, corona tests in children and staff and still we had no closure or anything so it's been very different here in Sweden and I, I can't say for certain which policy is the best because I think there's been some um, tests done on how young people feel about being locked up at home for example for a year and that's not very good for them either and I know in the UK there is about a hundred thousand missing pupils now at school they don't really know where they are they used to go to school and now when the schools have opened up again they've sort of disappeared and and that obviously didn't happen here so I can't say for certain which would be the best